Hey guys, Nitro here, and this is a video for you guys that has been highly requested, not just by people that watch me, but by a lot of people that watch a lot of videos, and this is very simple, as you can see by the title, it is simply, how to be a better COD player, and a lot of people think, oh well this is really easy to figure out, but if you think about it, there are certain things that a lot of people do without realizing it, that actually make them not as good of a player as they think. So let me pull up this list that I have here and kind of go through it with you guys. So the first tip that I'm going to give you guys is make sure that you focus while you're playing. I mean, I hate to say this, but a lot of people that play and probably you that's listening to this or watching this video right now, you don't focus while playing, meaning that while you're playing, you're just kind of talking with friends, joking around, doing that type of stuff. And that's fine because that's what the game's meant for. But if you want to get on a high kill streak, do that stuff. You have to pay attention. You have to concentrate on what you're doing. You have to make sure that what you're doing isn't something stupid by going around with, I don't know, a knife, for example, and trying to run around on a knife streak and get a 70 kill streak with that. I mean, yes, people do it, but you have to concentrate. You can't just say, oh, I knifed some one person. Let's go run around in the middle of the map now to celebrate. If you do that, you're just going to get killed, and you're just going to pretty much mess up your entire streak and just gonna get frustrated with the game because you'll be thinking oh well I just get one kill and die every time so I must be terrible at this game that type of stuff and it'll just really make you mad at the game the second tip for you is make sure that you think about what your next move is gonna be now you may be saying well what do you mean think about your next move what I mean by this is very simple don't just do actually think before you do. Now you've probably heard that saying a lot, and obviously you know what it means, but for the people that don't, it means don't go out and just start shooting someone. Think about what could happen if you do that. For example, if you see that there's a crowd of four people running towards one spawn, they don't see you, they're not coming near you, but you have a spot that if you try to shoot them, you're not going to survive. Don't try to get up and start shooting at them because you are going to die. You don't have a chance there. Only do the moves, only go after people if you know you can get the kills. It's absolutely pointless to just go around and get yourself killed. That just ruins the game for yourself. You just get frustrated and same stuff with my first point. It just makes you extremely frustrated and you'll just, you'll rage at the game. You don't want to have that happen. So the third thing that I'm going to talk about here is don't run out in the open in a bad moment. Now this kind of has to do with the second thing. And what this pretty much is saying is don't, if you see a bunch of people like in their spawn, for example, and you see they're just spawning there, it's their whole team like in ground war, so you have nine people there, all spawned in and it's just you. Don't sprint in there trying to go after them. I mean, I can understand you try to do a head hiding, head, head glitch type, yeah, head hiding. I mean, yeah, they're the same thing, but, like, if you try to do a head glitch or something like that, yes, I guess that could work, but you don't want to be doing, or just trying to work a head glitch with so many people around you. If you're trying to get kills, try to get on a high kill streak, try to get better at COD, which is the overall thing, you don't want to just be running around at stupid points in the game. You want to be strategic about it. You want to really think about, which is tying into the first few things, and like like I pretty much said, everything will tie into this, and it'll just, everything will sound kind of familiar, but you don't want to be that person that everyone's come across them a lot of times in the game, that you'll be running with your whole team, and all of a sudden someone just tries to challenge your entire team and start shooting, and they'll shoot you with one bullet, and shoot the person next to you with one bullet, and the person next to you with one bullet, and they'll just keep spraying back and forth to see how many people they can kill before they die. You don't want to do that. That's pointless. You're just going to die. It really just doesn't make sense. Now, this next thing I'm going to say is almost the opposite of what I just said. Now, this is... Don't camp. Just, just don't do it. The only time I'll say that you really are allowed to camp is if you're, like, on a kill streak, And not a kill streak where you're like, Oh, I'm on a five kill streak. I'm going to camp now. No. If you're, like, 29, 30, 40 kills... Then yeah, I can understand you camping because you don't want to die. You want to keep your kill streak going. 
because this way you can let your actual kill streak rewards, whether they're helicopters, airstrikes, anything like that, let them stack on top of each other. So you're not really doing anything and you're not really vulnerable. That I can understand. But you never want to say, oh, I just got one kill. Now I'm going to hide in this house and see how many more people will come after me. You do that, I guarantee you will get less than 20 kills a game. You'll probably get less than 15 kills a game just doing that. I've seen it happen. The only exception to that is if you're on a, such a small map, such as like Nuketown 2025 and Black Ops 2. That's the only exception on small maps when people have to run through. Because if you look at a map like Nuketown 2025, for example, take that map and say you're in one of the houses, like on the stairs. Of course you're going to get a bunch of kills there because people have to run through that house. That's how that map works. So obviously you're going to do that. But you don't want to be on... I'm blanking on a larger map, but... Take a map like... I don't know. Um, I don't, we'll, we'll come back to that, but... Take some large map. You can picture anything in your mind. If you camp in your spawn on this large map, do you really think that you're going to get a ton of kills from it? You... I mean, just think of that. That's that's really all there is. Next point is think strategically. Now this obviously has to tie in with the think about your next move, but think strategically. Don't think about, oh, well, since I'm thinking about what I'm going to do, I think that I'm going to run out in front of three people. Think that you're going to have the higher move on your opponent. What you need to do is say, oh, well, I think that this person, because they've last time that they tried to rush I think that they're gonna just go straight through the spawn and take like a map like hijack they're gonna go straight through the building there and go right through the center they're not gonna go through one of the side routes so what you can do is come up from one of the side routes and just wait for them in like a little hiding spot and just watch them go in and just shoot them that's think thinking strategically don't be the person that says oh well they're gonna go straight so I'm gonna go right at them and have a one-on-one -on -one gunfight right in front of them Nine times out of ten, you're going to lose that because you're not going to expect them coming out of the doorway. And if you're just lying there, yes, I guess you're going to win. But if you're not playing in a game mode like Search and Destroy, where it's only one respawn, they're just going to know that you're there. They're going to just come right back around and they're going to kill you because they're going to say, oh, well, I'll go back up the middle again and see if they're still there. You kill them twice, they'll find a new way to go around. They'll get you there. You always have to be one step in front of your opponent. That's how you win gunfights. That's how you win games. It's the only way to win. You have to be in front. You can't just get lucky every single time. That's not how it works. You have to think strategically. Now this final point that I'm going to say, it's probably going to seem very obvious for most people, but a lot of people do not realize it. And by the way, I'm sorry if... You can hear, uh, this is a little off topic, but I got a new puppy, and she's crying a ton. She's only, like, eight or nine weeks old, and she just loves to cry. So if you can hear that, I'm very sorry, and I really hope that you can't. I'll listen back to it in recording and try to, or in editing, try to low, to mute that as much as possible. But anyway, getting to the final point, um, make sure that you do not, and I repeat, do not eat while you are playing that is the stupidest thing to be doing i mean just just think of it this way you have one hand in a bag of chips you have one hand on the controller so you can either be jumping and shooting and moving forward backwards side and side or you can be aiming in and looking up and down and side to side you can choose one of those and that's really it like it it's so pointless to eat and play at the same time there's it, I'm not even going to go into this huge rant about it. That, that, that's such a huge rant. It can just be its own separate video. It's... Ah. Uh, just... It may seem like it's very obvious, but there are so many people that do that. So many people. You don't even know how many people there are that do that type of stuff. It's crazy. Anyway, guys. So that's pretty much it for the topic of the video. You know, the little rant that I went on tutorial whatever you want to call it but what I am going to do for these last few 20-30 seconds of the video before we end this is I'm just going to give you a little update there I'm going to be doing a few new videos like not 
videos, like new videos, but new series of videos. So there are a lot of video ideas that I've come up with, and I'm not going to spill any beans on them now, because I'll let you guys see them in a little bit when they come out, obviously. But I think you guys will really enjoy them. They're definitely a lot of fun to see. They're fun to make. And they're just going to be very well enjoyed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to smash that like button below. Subscribe for a brownie. This is Nitro Logic, and I'm out. Peace. They telling me to take the safe route. This is the detour. Hoodie baby, you ain't seen a kid like this before. Him late night shooting for the moon like Warren. Them hits come out as soon as you hit record. Born in America, Chevy and Ford. But these Greek ladies loving me, they saying he's foreign. Floored them, blew the crowd down by they.